So I picked this up from Kino, I want to say three or four months ago. They had a sale going on. I've never seen this film. I, I heard mixed things about it, and I watched it, and I don't know if anybody's seen it. I don't know if you've seen it. The Boogans. I haven't seen it. I've heard all about it. I haven't actually watched it, though. So this is a very interesting film. This film takes place, um, this is a film from the 80s. It takes place in like a, a mining town in Colorado. And basically, um, this couple and their two friends go to the mining town. They're moving to the mining town for a job. And um, they move into a house. Um, the two people, the two guys move into the, or go into the mine. They work at the mine. And then um, they go into an abandoned mine and blow it up. And then crazy shit starts happening. So this is a really cool creature feature movie. Um, if you're into creature features, I was blown away, man. I thought it was a great movie. I highly recommend it. Um, I think I ended up giving it like uh, seven and a half out of ten. Uh, I thought it was really well done. The actors are great, man. Like the, 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 the scares and the gore, the special effects were, um, there weren't a ton of it. I mean, what they did have in there was good. Um, but the actual story and the actual, um, the 4k and everything, it looks beautiful in the snow and everything it takes place in the snow in Colorado. But I technically, I think it's Utah, but it's supposed to be Colorado. Is uh, the truth to this comment? Boogans is like a goosebumps monster. Kind of. I mean, he's, it's, it's a creepy type of monster that lives in the caves and or in the mines, but uh, no, it, it's it's definitely cool uh, if you're if you're into those sort of things. There's some decent gore, but the characters are great, man. It just it flies by like that, and it's yeah. a cool it's a cool ending too. So I've always um, heard mixed things about it. That's why I never like I never really saw too many glowing reviews about it. I don't think that's why I was ever in a rush to see it. But it's it's on my watch list. But I'll. Since you like it, it's got the Todd stamp of approval, uh, the mushroom stamp of approval. I'll, I'll give it a watch. But Kino usually sucks on their special features. Is there anything going on there? Is it Dolby? What's going on? Yeah, so this is a yeah HDR Dolby Vision Master um, of the 35 millimeter negative, which some people said it looked like shit, but I thought it looked great because there's a lot of outdoor daytime scenes mm. um, where it looks good. So um, I thought it looked solid. It has an audio commentary course. Um, with the director, um, it has uh, two audio commentaries, and then it has a featurette on there. So it doesn't have a whole lot. Featurette's cool and everything. Um, the oh, man has got a featurette. Versions. That's kind of like yeah. the bare minimum, dude. Like, put yeah. a featurette. These these we're going back to the the Wave One DVD era now, where the special features are the scene selection. So uh, just give me a featurette. I don't need a lot to be honest with you. Give me a commentary. Uh, a credible commentary, by the way. I don't want like the best boy who worked on like one week of the second unit. I want yeah. like I want to hear from the cast, the director, or the writer, and uh, yeah, feature at man. And I was I was surprised. I had no expectations going to this movie. Ninety five minutes, blow through it. Um, but the characters are just in, very interesting characters, mm -hmm. um, and good good acting in it. So uh, I would yeah I recommend checking it out if you're into creature features type of thing. Um, give it a watch. So awesome. As long as it's not a Chud movie, I like creature features. <laughs>